I'm working with a size 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and two strands of red heart yarn. I'm using one strand of fleck and that's this color here that has these little flecks of different color in and one strand in white. Start with chain 12. One, two, chain 12. Single crochet in the second stitch from the hook and in each stitch of the chain. Okay, so single crochet in each stitch across the row. Okay, I have single crocheted in each stitch across the row. At the end of the row, chain one and turn. Don't work in this stitch, start in this stitch. Single crochet in each stitch across the row. Single crochet in each stitch across the row. Each row will be the same until this side and this side are the same length. Okay, I've worked as many rows as I need for this to be a square like that. And I'm going to fasten off. Thread the yarn end into a needle and weave through the last row of stitches. Like that. Pull tightly to gather that row all up. And that's going to be the toe end of the slipper. Like that. Now I'm going to sew up halfway. And I can just bend that in half and see that this is halfway. So I'm just going to sew across the top of the slipper until I get halfway. And then take a few stitches to secure it. Like that. And weight the yarn end into the finished work. And there's how that looks. And now I'm going to thread this yarn end into a yarn needle and I'm going to sew the back end of the slipper here. Insert the hook through a stitch at the back of the slipper and pull the yarn through. Chain two. And now I'm going to make double crochets all around the opening of the booties. So a double crochet in each stitch all the way around the opening. Like that, and I'm going to go all the way around. Okay, I double crochet it all the way around, and then I'm going to slip stitch to join in the top of the first double crochet. Chain two, one, two, turn the work, double crochet in each stitch all the way around. work all the way around, slip stitch to join. Okay, I worked all the way around, I slip stitch to join. Okay, I've worked a total of one, two, three, four rows of double crochet. I'm going to fasten off and that's what the booty looks like at this stage. And I'm going to attach a contrasting color yarn in the fasten off stitch. I'm going to chain two, I'm going to double crochet in each stitch around. So double crochet all the way around. Slip stitch to join in the top of the first double crochet right there. Okay, so there's my last row of contrasting color. With the yarn needle, weave all these yarn ends back and forth into the finished work. Okay, now there's the finished booty. So now you can just roll this cup down like that, and that's your finished booty. Now you could attach a button or you could sew on a bow for girls.